The interview and testing board consisted of Battalion Chief Terry Doss, Battalion Chief David Godin, Fire Marshal Roger Mann, Fire Marshal Steen McMullen, Training Officer Keith Kynert, and Sergeant Dwayne Davis, and they recommend the hiring of Mark McCurdy. Do we have a motion? I move that we hire Mark McCurdy as Fire Inspector, grade 12, step 1, $32,264.92 with the probationary one-year period. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion with a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed? Passes. Brings us down to the police department. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sean. And that wasn't nearly as bad as what you had anticipated. <laughs> Is the chief around? There he is. I can't see you back there. You hide back there. Correct line. I have two items before the board tonight. One is a report on the feasibility of combining Starkville Police Department dispatch with 911. I've been meeting with uh, Mr. Britt, and uh, he is preparing the county's proposal. He has requested more time to get that refined um, and finalized. He's requested more time? Yes, sir. They approached us nine, ten months ago. Excuse I originally started talking with him about it. Two uh, years ago? Almost a year ago. Uh, after the budget committee directed me to do so, and of course, I think they did some work on it at that time, and then Katrina came along, and after our last meeting, we discussed it again, and uh, of course, they're in the process of determining if they're going to be able to build a new building or not. There are many things they've got going on budget-wise, I believe they're trying to... Uh, so I guess we're in a situation to wait to hear from back from them after they yes, proposal. Yes, Okay. Chief, I'm going to I have stepped out. Is that what you want to do? Yeah, yes, sir. I believe that would be in the best interest. Okay. Uh, item number two is um, authorization to declare uh, city property as surplus and dispose of same. Uh, we've got quite a bit of surplus property that has accumulated in the rear of this building, and Ms. Spruill and I uh, discussed this, and I uh, let my, some of my staff get workers together and we inventoried all of this and the proposal I want y'all to consider tonight is this um, some of the things we're going to dispose of are a number of vehicles that are currently housed at City Barn six of which were drug seizures and uh, eight of which are retired uh, from the fleet former police cars <clears throat> none of these vehicles I suspect have very much value however uh, Bar needs a space, and we'd like to make something productive out of these more or less junkers that are sitting down there and get them off our inventory. So the first request is that the surplus property the city of Starkville, uh, it's been inventoried and is ready for disposal by auction. Uh, this surplus property specifically is retired vehicles and other vehicles that have been seized and are of real no further use. And the second being all of the other items, such as computers, office furniture, uh, and the like, to be included in this uh, auction as well. Uh, I believe I've uh, forwarded copies of the vehicle list and the uh, items to be inventory. The recommendation would be the police department request authorization for the auction and to have the proceeds of the sale of the vehicles, number one above, placed into our line item for vehicles. Uh, this will be added to the insurance settlement to uh, go with a car that one of our newer units that recently caught fire and burned. I'm going to try and take the insurance money from it and whatever we can get from the salvage auction and hopefully be able to buy a replacement unit, a new unit. Um, and the other matters would be the uh, other equipment such as office equipment and of course we want to have the auction authorized where we can add that to the general fund or whatever is normal procedure and that would be my request do we have a motion to authorize 
the surplus property. Move approval. approval. Pardon me? I move approval. Okay. Do we have a second? Second. second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed? Thank you, Mr. David. This brings us down to per public services. Good evening, Mayor and Board. Um, one item I have tonight is request to advertise for sealed bids for um, boring under the Kansas City Southern Railroad and Mississippi uh, Highway 12 west of Starkville. Um, we had been going under the assumption that we had this covered under source of supply contracts, but uh, uh, we were wrong, and uh, we don't go up this high in our source of supply items. So uh, tonight I request your approval to uh, advertise for seal bids because we anticipate it's going to exceed the $15,000 threshold um, that's required for, for seal bids. And with that, I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. Do I have a motion that uh, we advertise for bids? I would move we advertise for bids for boring under Highway 12 and the Kansas Southern Railroad right away. Do we have a second to that? Second. We have a motion with a second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Uh -huh. All those opposed? Thank you. Sanitation Department. One item on the agenda. Uh, authorize, I'm, I'm here to ask for the approval to purchase now the real loader garbage truck from the best bid, which is Ingram Equipment, in the amount of $138,937.80. Do we have a motion to take the uh, lowest and best bid? So moved. Just uh, for clarification, it's not lowest it's not bid. It's the lowest bid, it's the best bid. Best bid, okay, best excuse me. We have a motion, do we have a second? Second. Uh, and we should specify in the minutes what makes this the best bid. And do you have that information for making this the best bid? Yes, sir. Okay. You have it in your packets also. Um, I had a... Uh, that was my first one. I came back to my front loader. That was my best bid for the real loader also, which I postponed that one. And I got the assistance of, Mr. Du of the du Director of Public Services, Mr. Devlin, and he agreed with me this was the best bid. We have a motion and a second oh. to accept the best bid. What we're trying to determine is why is it the best bid. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, the uh, pack mac bid because it has a 25 cubic yard packer versus your uh, spec bid, which is 32 yards, uh, 32 yard uh, packer. Reject the Empire truck sales bid with the leash body. The bid did not include any factory specific specification sheets for the leash body for comparison to your spec bid specs, and they were only found uh, on when we went to the website. There was a uh, federal announcement that um, <clears throat> with uncertain future and inability to verify actual factory specs, we stay away from the leach project. They were being sold out. Uh, this left the two lowest bidders, which was Empire Truck Sales, New Way Body on the Sterling Chassis, in the amount of $136,800. $136, Ingram Equipment Sales Hell Body, on a freight line of chassis in the amount of $138,937. The Empire Truck Sales bid did not include the factory specification sheet for the new way body for the comparison to the <coughs> spec bid specs. Uh, they were, we went to the, uh, the website and compared two bids, two units, Josh bid specs on the components, and when they were convert ver verifiable published information was available, but still all items to yield strength equivalent thickness so that they can be compared on a plot apples to apples basis, this comparison is attached. The conclusion we came to, the new blade body did not comply with the bid specs on four different items. The, the hell how body 
met or exceeded all specifications that were listed. By comparing the yield, strength, equivalent thickness, the Howell body is far superior, and you can expect a life longer service than the new way. It appears even from the last sheet that you provided in the package that the, the heel body exceeds the new way body chassis in just about every component. Yeah. Yes, sir. And it's, uh, it's the difference in the amount is $2,137. Not, not to mention that there are components on the new way chassis that don't even meet specifications. Exactly. We have a motion on the floor. It's been seconded. All those in favor, I please say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Thank you. Thank you. Would you like to at this time reconsider the uh, the health insurance, or would you like to still hold this in abeyance until before we leave tonight? Like to go into closed session to discuss whether we should go into executive session. I tell you what, I'll just take a break. Let y'all decide what you want to do. But I would recommend that y'all make a decision. that we have on our agenda are the health care issue and uh, personnel and litigation issues in the executive session. Mr. Mayor, I move that we take a five-minute break. Just had one. guess we can take another one. We have a, we'll declare a five-minute break. Did any of you have an opportunity to say, look at this Blue Cross Blue Shield, Shield issue? I saw Ms. Outlaw down there assisting some of you on that end of the table with uh, costs and some other issues. <coughs> uh, so it's still not at any let, resolve? Let, let's review a minute to keep it just like it is. Where's Ms. Outlaw? She's running some numbers on the Oh, okay. Well, we it was approximately $175,000 more a year to keep it like it is. Is that correct? Um, I thought it was approximately 200, 200, uh, 240, close to 250 to keep it like it is. Yeah, but that's including that dental. But that's going to be. Right. To take the 14% increase in uh, is approximately, uh, we say 14%, about $12,000 a month, $13,000. Is that right, Lynn? So it's going to be around $160,000 a year with just uh, reducing it down. So we have a net savings of approximately, I'm going to say, 100 Well, and that's why I bring up the dental, and that's what. Ms. Outlaw and I were talking about what she's adding up right now is that that big figure, the 240, includes the dental and well, I'll let her explain what. Yeah. How much? 61000 per year. For the dental? No, no, no for no, this the is, difference this between. This is the difference the, between the option seven that we're proposing and the. Keeping the current. Yes. Okay. Sixty-one thousand was an increase. Right. I mean, it's sixty-one thousand over that increase. Yeah. Oh, yes, over that increase. Making the assumption that we're going to pay an increase is just how big an increase. Mm -hmm. 
So keeping it as the same is in uh, versus the 22% uh, increase versus the 14% 14. overall is $61,000. Is that correct? The difference. The, the difference. The 14, what, the, the keeping it the same will probably, it, it ranges to 100 and uh, about 80 to 190,000. This one, the 121,000 is the, is the increase above what we are currently paying. And then the 60,000 is going to be an increase above the 14, the, the option 7, the 14 percent. So the net savings with all the increases is about 61,000 to keep it the same to, to versus the uh, 14 percent right. increase. So I guess that you got to take consideration or you wouldn't spend another $61,000 over the other increase. How much would the other increase 14% run? Uh, 121000 Okay, $121,000 more anyway. Mm -hmm. This would add on another 61000 to that. Uh, the health insurance, I mean, the life uh, insurance did go down. No, no, the life stayed the same. Or oh, it stayed the same. Stayed I the thought same. the figures they were showing us, they were a lot less per thousand. Uh, How much did the dental increase? Uh, it went from $14.76 yes, to seventeen yeah, oh two Per person. Per, per person. On the recommendation of uh, the city clerk and the chief administrative officer, I recommend that and do so in the form of a motion that we accept option seven, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Mississippi. It's a blue card plan uh, for the city of Starkville insurance. Do we have a second to that motion? We have a second for that motion. <coughs> Apparently not. Mm -hmm. The night is not open. Yes. Both of you calm down. As an aside, Martillo, uh, uh, Martillo, goodness, Marquita, uh, this next year, let's try to get these things earlier so we have more time to compare with uh, uh, what the state employee health plan is doing, uh, uh, all this this type of thing, because uh, it's it's a difficult decision. Yeah. Allow me to defend Marquita. It really has not been. Uh, uh, we've pushed the, the representative. Right, wasn't a matter of defending Marquita that was no. not criticized. I'm saying, well, next year, let's try to get this stuff earlier so we can have more time to, to deal with it. I believe we did start this about uh, we, we six months ago. We earlier, but, and, and things did, you know, kind of push it back, but we, we will uh, stuff make happens. that a better team for next year. We have a motion. We're needing a second. I'll second the motion of Alderman Cotton. Now, this the motion uh, that's to increase this was shown on the information that was handed to us in our packet, or provided to us in fact, with all the increases. Yes. All those in favor of the motion, 
Let's show by hands. All those in favor, please raise your hands. Two, all those opposed, raise your hands. <coughs> Looks like the motion fails. So I guess we won't have dental insurance, I mean medical insurance. No, it's just a struggle if you sit here and think, well, what in the world could they be thinking about? You know, it is a struggle sitting here thinking, does the increased cost, is it justified to keep the insurance the same, or should this be more of a sharing on the part of city, the taxpayer, and the employee? Uh, In defense of the employees, I raise those very issues that you just talked about. Simply because some of us, as I said before, had as much as five, ten thousand dollar deductibles. I was very much at looking at, say, doing going to a thousand dollar deductible. I was very much in favor of looking at some of the employees paying a part of the insurance as such. And I was told and suggested by some of the department heads out of a committee type of consortium that the people of this city have not had a raise of any significance in the last how many years? Five years, six years, or whatever. And that to a person who had adequate funds, that $5, $10, or $20 wouldn't make any difference. But to a person that we pay, have you looked at some of these wages that we pay, folks? Uh, you looked at truck drivers uh, that handle heavy equipment and stuff that make less than $20,000 that I see in the sanitation department last uh, meeting. And you wonder how anybody is able to say even making a living it from that standpoint. Uh, if you look that uh, there have not been satisfactory raises in the last umpteen years, uh, I was scolded as the mayor to even suggest that folks that did not get a raise in the last number of years that you're going to set this thing up and you're going to make some of the folks out there that are really dependent upon this pay parts of these issues as such like that? Yes, in answer to your question. All of these particular issues were looked at. They were analyzed. Uh, they were brought, they were talked at by the department heads, and this is what they came up with. Uh, which was what? Where are you leading? I've just led to this. Your suggestion was is that we look at the uh, uh, the employees as being a little bit more paying out of their pocket. That uh, that was a suggestion that I made, and it was shot down very quickly. That uh, that we, we have probably there's some disgruntlement amongst uh, people that work for the city that has not been consistent and satisfactory raises in the last five, six, seven years. Is that what uh, has been kind of let out? And so uh, we looked at all these issues. And so this was not something that was just kind of just uh, lightly uh, interpreted. Oh, that, uh, and that wasn't even the implication I was attempting to explain to the general public. Why don't they make a decision? What could they possibly be thinking? I was trying to explain what we were thinking. Well, you also uh, brought up the issues, too, that uh, did we not look at this, did we not look at that, et cetera, et cetera. And I just wanted to assure you that we did look at those particular issues. Uh -huh. oh, Mr. Mayor. Yes, ma'am. Oh, in defense of my vote, uh, my vote against option seven was a vote against option seven. It was not a vote to say that, well, our employees won't have any insurance. That was not the intent of my vote. I don't think that I understand that. Okay. I just want to be sure that that's understood now, what we decide. Let's hear a little because more from you. What, what, what would you think looking, would be? Because looking at, and keeping in mind what you just said about some of our employees and what it would mean to them uh, for a copay to go from $5 to $10 to $25 to $50, uh, that's for meds. Uh, for, uh, other out-of-pocket expenses for them to go up 
or to be increased, it does mean a lot to them. And my vote would be to renew it as is. And we figure out what it means. That's the reason you voted against the That's the, the reason the I voted against vote. option seven. Let me let me so add this to, uh, to some of the discussion that came out from uh, uh, the things they got from <coughs> Blue Cross Blue Shield suggested that they were on a health improvement program within their own program. That meant uh, people that smoked and uh, that you do all these issues with them and that it took them how many years to get to a point to where their rates dropped significantly. He said it was about three, was it three years? About, about three, three years. years. What they were talking about is, say, uh, making employees aware of uh, weight loss, high blood pressure, all these types of issues for preventative purposes. I agree. And that uh, that would be one way to get, say, our ratings down significantly, but it would take you three years to get there to do this as such. Yes, sir. Mr. Mayor, I concur with the comments from all the distinguished all the woman from Ward 7 to renew as it is, so therefore I offer in the form of a motion. We have a motion on the floor to renew the hospitalization as it presently stands. Do we have a second? Does this in include the dental also? Uh, as is. Plan. As is. Okay. I second. We have a motion to second it that we uh, continue to supply <coughs> the current coverage on medical insurance. We have any further discussion in regard to that? Ms. Elwell, will you just confirm for me again what the total increase to the city will be if we reinstitute the current plan, uh, both it, dental and medical combined? Approximately, it, it's from it'll go from 87.7 per month to 107.100 per month. So, which is uh, approximately 20,000 per month. So that's about 240,000 dollars to the bottom, well, taken out of the bottom line, I guess, if we if we approve the motion. And I think we just had a report talking about sales tax increases. And I believe if we accepted the full 22% increase, it would completely deplete the incredible growth in sales tax that we've had here in Starkville. And, and unfortunately, you have to make some tough choices, um, whether it be potholes, whether it be employee raises, whether it be new equipment. Um, and I think it would I, that's one of the reasons why I supported your recommendation, and I know that you considered the employees. Uh, that's the reason why I supported uh, the CAO's recommendation, because I know that she's in touch with the employees. This seemed to be a fair distribution of the incredible burden that these health uh, care costs um, have been on both the city as well as our employees. And that $250,000 number is just a, it, I just think of what we'll lose um, uh, from the city. So. I'll be voting against it, um, uh, I, but I appreciate the, the work that y'all put in to come up with a, a, a fair way to, to, to manage this cost. Of course, keep in mind that we're talking $60,000 between the increase of option seven versus this. So really, regardless, we're going to eat into that sales tax increase one way or the other. You know, this may be irrelevant to our immediate problem, but. Wasn't the adoption of tort reform in the state supposed to help reduce our insurance costs? We have a motion on the floor that's been second, that we keep the health insurance the same. All those in favor of that motion, please raise your hand. Three, four, five, six. All those opposed? Thank you. Thank you. We will now uh, go into closed session to discuss going into executive session. The passage of time. We have shared your joy at the birth of your children, and proudly we have watched them grow. We've taken care of your health care needs during the good times and the not so good. Your parents and grandparents have depended upon us. Together we have shared the struggles and the wonders of life. At Octibaha County Hospital, 
we are celebrating 30 years of being your lifelong choice in healthcare.